and thanks for joining me in this video. I've not made one of these in a long while, but I've had a few of my accounts action required email from YouTube, accept new YouTube partner program terms to continue monetizing. So this affected a few of my channels which are monetized. It It's interesting how these come out though. If you haven't had this email, it automatically comes out. On one of my channels, I had short videos, like shorts. In another channel, monetized, it didn't have shorts. So I thought, why did I not get it on that channel? I put one short up on that channel and about four days later, I got this email for this new channel, which I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to explain what's going on here. I'm going to read through the information, just to help you out if you're getting this warning or an email. Firstly, if you get an email, I don't recommend clicking the buttons within the email. You'll see I'll share on my screen right now. You can see the actual email and this email is what you get. So as announced in September, we are evolving the YouTube partner program referred to as YPP to enable new ways for creators to grow and earn money on the platform. To make this possible, new contract terms are now available for you to review and accept. We're going to look at these today in this video. I used to do a lot of these when YouTube stuff come out, but I've just gone away from it. But I thought it's worth sharing. So you should hopefully read along with me. And if you're going through this, it'll help you. So there's a button here saying accept new terms. You can click that and it goes to your YouTube studio. But normally I don't recommend clicking things from email. So I'll show you the way to actually do it, which will help you. What's changing? One of the biggest changes is that you will now be able to share revenue from ads that run in the shorts feed. When you accept the updated terms, you'll be able to take advantage of this rev new revenue stream as early as 1st of February 2023. It's not far away. Today's 18th of January 2023 when I'm recording this. You will not be able to earn revenue from shorts feed ads until you do so. So basically you need to accept the new terms and then you're, you're eligible for that earning. For more information on the updated terms, visit our help center. What do I need to do? Let's have a look at that. So you will need to accept the new terms by the 10th of July, 2023. If they haven't been accepted by that date, your channel will be removed from YouTube Partner Program and you will lose access to monetization. To get back into YouTube Partner Program, you will have to re-qualify and apply again. Thank you for being part of the YouTube community. So basically it's very important. If you're a monetized channel, you need to read these terms and agree to them. If you don't, they're gonna take you out of the Partner Program, you have to apply again. That's just a lot of hassle that we don't want. So that's the email uh, they send you. I recommend, I've got my channel up here, one of the channels that I'm talking about. Now, I said to you, don't go via the click button just to be safe. When you get emails, it's not advised to click in those. You never know where emails come from and you know, you know what it's like in this day and age. So if you go into your YouTube channel, you, hopefully you've got one, but if you've got multiple, just go into the channel. When you go into your creator studio, like I have here, along the top here, you can see, let me see if I can get a pen to highlight this. Oh, that, that'll take you long. So I'll have to download some software and stuff. So forget that. Okay. So action required, accept new terms to stay in the YouTube partner program and start earning shorts ads revenue. You'll see along this here, the top red bar along your uh, dashboard. If you're on mobile, it should be similar. I'm on desktop. So I'm showing it this way. There's two things here now. You can accept as in review and accept, or you can click dismiss. There's two buttons there. Obviously I'm going to click review and accept. So let's click on that first. Where do we come? It'll take us to another screen which there, okay, here we go. So I'll read on this screen because it's a bit more, for, can I zoom in? I could probably zoom in, let me zoom in. There we go. Let me make my small, oh, let me make my bubble a bit smaller. Okay, so what's changing? We're, we're updating the YouTube Partner Program terms. To stay in the YouTube Partner Program, you need to review and accept the updated terms by the 10th of July, 2023. We already read down the other screen. Okay, that's fine. Once you have accepted these terms, you can enable new ways to earn such as shorts, feed ads there's a few steps here step one is base terms these terms are required to be in the youtube partner program so this is generally speaking for your whole channel so you have to review those let's click on the review what's going on here mm, let me do a bit of reading to you now youtube partner program terms these youtube partner program terms the base terms together with the youtube terms of service the youtube channel monetization policies and any modules or module or modules that you accept together the terms apply to your participation in the YouTube partner program 
please read the terms carefully if you do not understand or accept any part of the terms you should not click accept so basically read this i'm reading it to you so you i'll read it as it is i'm not going to give you any of my opinions on it because this is like a legal bit of paper legal text so you can derive your meaning from this and you can have a chat in the comment section if you're not sure about them and hopefully each of the people can help out what they think this means if there's any complications number one how these terms work monetization of your content on the service is governed by the terms including one or more modules which specify the terms that apply to monetization of different types of content or parts of the service each a module different eligibility criteria will apply in order to enable that particular type of monetization when you accept a module it is incorporated into the terms and may be modified or terminated only as a set out below what that makes me think is a module might not be right but a module refers to like first we're youtube monetized for our channel but now we're adding a module for shorts so like that's another module that's what i think that means but yeah that's okay so number two what we pay you when you accept a module youtube will pay your pay you partner earnings under that module partner earnings are the amounts described in the module as calculated in line with the following revenue calculations under each module partner earnings are calculated from the portion of net revenues that the module describes as being attributed to your content not revenues means the total amount of relevant revenues recognized by youtube under us general accepted accounting principles net of any taxes collected or payable by youtube taxes means all government imposed tax obligations including taxes duties and withholdings except those based on net income net worth asset value property value or employment refunds chargebacks or decline payments fees payable to platforms such fees payable to platform device or other distribution partners and country pass through costs country pass through costs means that means those amounts that youtube has notified you it will deduct and that represent costs incurred by youtube in relation to a third party rights regulated fees b including any fees or costs that youtube pays to any third party to comply with any laws or regulations and c platform taxes or levies in each case incurred with respect to a particular country or region in which your content is displayed or monetized youtube will notify you of any applicable country pass throughs including the amount of and method of calculating such country pass throughs at least 45 days before they are deducted b okay these are quite long uh, terms and conditions how many i'll have to read all of this it's not that bad oh my god what did I get into? Okay, so let me, let me go back up. So we're B. Rights clearance adjustment. Where YouTube is made aware by one or more third parties that you may not have obtained all necessary rights in your content. For example, rights in music as required under the YouTube terms of service, uncleared rights. Such content may need to be removed from the service and where it is not, you may not be entitled to earn revenue in relation to it. However, in certain circumstances, as detailed in the rights clearance adjustment policies, that's another document you can access and read, YouTube may instead seek to obtain some of the uncleared rights and then decrease the partner earnings that would otherwise be payable to you. A rights clearance adjustment. These, those policies can, those policies, I need a drink. Those policies contain the details of the circumstances and countries where rights clearance adjustments apply, how YouTube may have been made aware that your content includes uncleared rights, for example, as a result of specific claim of rights by one or more third parties, how you may change, how you may challenge the basis of any such rights clearance adjustments, for example, by appealing a content ID claim and how YouTube calculates the revenue payable to you to account for uncleared rights okay you know what i'm not gonna read all of this on camera anyway or shall i shall i carry on what do you think comment do you want to hear it well, how far did i get now so i got up to a i got up to b didn't i non-qualifying revenues your youtube may either withhold 
or adjust any partner earnings associated with the breach of terms, including the YouTube channel monetization policies, charge back or offset such amounts against future partner earnings payable to you. YouTube will YouTube will notify you if any of these circumstances occur and provide details about how you can appeal in accordance with these policies. Number three, when you will not be paid, YouTube is not obliged to monetize your content, including displaying any advertisements in connection with it and may determine the type of format of ads and other forms of monetization available on the service. In addition, you are not entitled to earn or receive partner earnings a where associated with a breach of terms including youtube monetization policies youtube channel monetization policies where youtube has suspended or terminated your access to parts of the service under section 6 or unless youtube has a specific obligation to share revenues with you under a module that you have accepted for example you are not entitled to earn revenue in relation to ads shown on such search results pages how we pay you payment account requirement in order to earn or receive partner earnings under these base terms you must at all times have an active adsense account associated with your youtube user account or such other payment methods as approved by youtube now b payment process youtube will pay you any partner earnings due under these base terms with 60 days after the end of any calendar month as long as you earned a balance of at least $100 US or is equivalent to local currency when payment is due YouTube may acting responsibly and with notice to you delay payment for partner earnings in accordance with applicable policies including for up to 90 days while it investigates whether or part of such partner earnings are subject to withholding or other measures under section 2c until resolution or of any third party disputes relating to rights of your content basically they'll pay you within 60 days if you've got any infringing copyright stuff or something they can hold your money they can hold withhold tax if you're in a certain country remember we did a video quite a while ago about making sure you fill out the right tax information and if you're which country you're in so check that video out that might help you but yeah everything i said there i'm just giving you my like thoughts see taxes all payments of partner earnings are inclusive of any taxes as defined above that you may be required to collect from youtube youtube will withhold taxes if legally required you will time you will timely provide any customary tax documentation reasonably requested by youtube yeah that's that bit we talked about challenges to the team terms we may need to make changes to the terms including the youtube channel monetization policies for example to reflect changes to our service for legal regulatory or security reasons or to prevent abuse or harm if we change the terms such changes will only apply going forward and except in urgent situations such as preventing ongoing abuse or responding to legal requirements we will provide you with at least 15 days advance notice and the opportunity to review the changes if you do not agree to the updates you will be able to terminate the impacted terms or opt out or stop your use of the relevant part of the service before the notice expires for your reference we also maintain a permanent log of updates we have a change of log here oh that's interesting i'm open on the new window oh, no, i want to see that that's like basically a look back at every change they made okay suspending or terminating monetization you may disable monetization on your content under certain modules at any time by opting out via youtube studio if you do not comply with the terms then in addition to any action we may take under the youtube terms of service youtube may take action in accordance with the youtube channel monetization policies including immediately suspending monetization of all or a subset of your content under any module together with access to any monetization tools made available to you by youtube or permanently disabling monetization by terminating your participation in the youtube partner program immediately or if required by applicable law with 30 days prior written notice in either case we will notify you when we enforce our policies including the terms for enforcement and will also let you know how to appeal termination of these terms termination of convenience either you or youtube may terminate these base terms 
or one or more individual modules for convenience with 30 days prior notice to the other party. You may also exercise these rights if you do not agree with any changes we make to the terms as noted in section 5 changes above. Termination of cause. Not far now. You may immediately terminate these base terms by notice if YouTube commits a material breach. If YouTube permanently disables monetization of all your content under section 6, suspending or terminating monetization above these base terms and all modules will be considered terminated. Effect of termination termination for clarity where this base terms are terminated the youtube terms of service will survive and continue to apply to any continued use of the service by you you will maintain access to any data obtained as part of your participation in the youtube partner program if any in accordance with the youtube channel monetization policies creator support as a member of youtube partner program you can access support from our creator support team for example the team can assist with technical issues you may have with the service if you need assistance appealing on actions we have taken or for any other issues or complaints please follow the instructions of uh, youtube uh, governing law the governing law and dispute resolution provisions of the YouTube terms of service apply to these base terms of and any modules. Mediation. If you are a business user based in the European Union or the United Kingdom, you may also be able to resolve issues through mediation. Find out more about how to request mediation here. Oh, interesting. Support.google. Okay. Conflicts. Where there is any conflict between their base terms and module. The module will apply and the adsense terms these base terms will apply and the youtube terms of service terms basically i'm showing you on screen so you can read along but i'm, I'm skimming now because i'm getting towards the end miscellaneous capitalized terms used but not defined in these base terms will have the meanings given to such terms in the youtube service of youtube terms of service these base terms and any modules replace all previous or current versions of the YouTube partner program terms or equivalent between you and YouTube. However, any separate agreements that you may have entered into with YouTube that amended or incorporated a previous version of the YouTube partner program terms will be deemed to apply to this based these base terms, except as modified by these base terms. The YouTube terms of service remain in full force and effect. You may provide notice to YouTube by emailing legal notices at gmail.com. Legal hyphen is a hyphen. I think that's hyphen. Notices. Any notices by YouTube will be delivered in accordance with the applicable policies. I'm I'm zoomed in here so it's very hard to see anything. The you represent that I you number one you are the, at least 18 years of old yeah i'm definitely 18 mate or you are the parent or guardian of a youtube partner program participant aged between 13 and 18 and are agreeing to these terms on their behalf yeah mate let's smash that i accept button i read all that i understand that and hopefully that gives you an idea so that's number one next one is number two watch page terms so there's a whole new kettle of fish already. You ready for this? these terms let you earn from ads and youtube premium on watch pages okay that's it so review so what I did there was I looked at the steps one. I read the terms. Make sure you read the terms by detail. Anything you're not sure about, get legal advice. I am not a solicitor or anything, so I'm just reading out what's here. Number two, step two, let's review these. Hopefully these are not long. Not bad. Okay, I can read you this. Watch page monetization module. Ready for this? This watch page monetization module, this module, is made under and incorporated into the terms under which you participate in the YouTube partner program. The terms, please read this module carefully. Capitalized words used but not defined in this module will have the meanings given to them in the terms. Appli applicability. The mod this module applies only where your content is displayed within the following parts of the service. A content watch page means a page within the YouTube and YouTube Music or YouTube Kids website or app that is primarily dedicated to the description and playback of your content, but which may also show other recommended content or ads for clarity. A content watch page includes a page dedicated to your channel and any feed or rec of recommended content and ads shown on such page primarily dedicated to your content but does not include any other type of content feed the youtube shorts feed a search results page and okay that may normal i have probably 
uh, when I listen back to this, it might make sense to me. While I'm reading that, it didn't make sense to me. YouTube video player means one or more digital media players made availability by available by YouTube without charge solely for displaying embedded content on websites or applications that are not part of the service for clarity this module does not apply where your content is made available through the service in the feed based video player interface currently known as youtube shorts or any related embedded player okay i think i understand what i mean there advertising revenues youtube will pay you 55 percent of net revenues from ads displayed or streamed by youtube or an authorized third party on your content watch pages or in conjunction with the playback of your content within the YouTube video player. Interesting. Subscription revenues. Your YouTube will pay you 55% of the net revenues from subscription fees that are attributed to the monthly views or watch time of your content on the content watch pages, YouTube video player as a percentage of the monthly views or watch time of all or a subset of participating content in the relevant subscription offering if your content is included in and viewed by a user in multiple subscription offerings youtube will pay you based on the subscription offering with the highest amount of net revenues okay again you represent that you are at least 18 years of age yeah mate i'm 18 you are the parent or guardian of a youtube partner program participant aged between 13 and 18 or are agreeing to these terms yeah okay that's let's back that in there except so you'll see it's turned green for step one it's turned green for step two and now i have a big submit button here let's smash that submit button and hopefully this is helping you uh, subscribe if you like what i'm sharing i'm basically reading out what you need to do okay you can now turn on shorts feed monetization to earn from ads and youtube premium starting on the 1st of feb 2023 do it now go to go turn on oh do it later or go turn on so i'm gonna go click go turn on i don't know what screen is gonna go to so i'm gonna pause and just click go turn on and then come back to you okay so when i uh, pushed uh, go turn on it came to shorts feeds ads you can scroll down it says earn from ads and youtube premium in shorts feed you can earn revenue from ads that turn that run in between videos in your shorts feed you can also earn revenue with when a youtube premium subscriber watches your content in the shorts feed it's a big blue button here saying turn on let's smash that turn on and there's some more terms and conditions made holy monoly i mean we just read this it's the same thing shorts monetization module is made under incorporated into the terms under which you participate i think this is a, is it let me check shorts feed Ooh. okay wait this is slightly different isn't it there's a little bit of difference there the short monetization module this module is made under and incorporated into the terms under which you participate in the youtube partner program the terms and it is effective february 1st 2023 or the date you agree to this module whichever is later please read this module carefully read it carefully i'm reading it for you but make sure you read it yourself if you're not unsure or unfamiliar uh, carefully capitalize words used but not defined in this module will have the meaning given to them in the terms okay applicability the module applies to shorts shorts means content made available through the service in the feed-based video player interface currently known as youtube shorts the shorts player the shorts feed describes a video feed section of the shorts player that contains shorts and which may be inter in, interpersed interpierced i don't know how you say that word interpierced interpierced with ads and other recommended content but for clarity does not include parts of the shorts player that display multiple shorts simultaneously including still images for purpose for purposes other than viewing an individual short e.g for search browsing or navigation or any ads shown upon opening the of the shorts feed before a short is reviewed shorts ads revenue youtube will pay you 45 percent so you notice this is 45 the other probably videos were 55 of shorts ad revenues shorts ad revenue means pooled ad revenues the proportion of the content shorts pool as described below that is attributed to the views of your shorts content as a percentage of the total views of all content allocated to the creator shorts pool pooled ad revenues where oh my god holy manoli okay creator shorts pool means i've read that one i 
Credit short pool means the portion of gross pool ad revenues calculated on a country by country basis that is attributed to a the total views of all shorts uploaded by a monetization partner that include no music content plus b the fractional views of all shorts uploaded by a monetizing monetizing partner that includes some but are not solely made up of music content as described in section four below together as a percentage of the total views of all shorts gross pool ad revenues means net revenues from ads displayed in the shorts feed that are not directly connected to the individual short and music content means content that is delivered to uploaded to or claimed on the service by a music licensor partner of youtube and direct ad revenues the net revenues from the views of ads displayed or streamed by youtube or any authorized third party directly on your shorts content i.e ads that are directly connected solely with your shorts content rather than ads interpersed within the shorts feed number three shorts description what short subscription revenues youtube will pay you 45 percent of short subscription revenues short subscription revenues are the net revenue from subscription fees that are attributed to the monthly views of your shorts content as a percentage of your monthly views of all or a subset of participating content in the relevant subscription offering if your shorts content is not is included in and reviewed by a user in multiple subscription offerings youtube will pay you based on the subscription offering with the highest amount of short subscriptions revenue shorts including third-party content this section in describes how views are counted for the purposes of calculating each of the creator shorts pool pooled ad revenues and shorts subscription revenues when a short includes third-party content if youtube credits any content owned or licensed by any party other than the uploader as making contributions to a short then each view of that short will be divided on a fractional basis as specified in the shorts monetization policies those policies describe whether and how youtube credits the contribution of different content types to a short and how views are allocated between the uploader of the sh of a short and parties contributing content to a short Hmm, that's very interesting i zoned out there for a minute but that was very interesting that bit okay number five ineligible views for the purposes of calculating payments under this module youtube will not count views of shorts where views are ineligible as described in shorts monetization penalties okay you represent that you are at least 18 years old of age or yeah mate you are the parent or guardian of a youtube partner program participant age 13 to 18 and are agreeing to the terms of their behalf on their behalf i accept the shorts feeds terms except so that should be the last one well i'm gonna have to read out some more half an hour bits of shoots feed revenue will start in february 2023 well done people you lived through that if you watch this this far that has been riveting starting on 1st of february 2023 all your shorts views will automatically be considered for shorts ad revenue sharing you will also earn revenue when youtube premium subscribers watch your content so it's interesting they give you less money though isn't it because they give you 45 percent for shorts whereas you get 55 percent from normal so you know taking a 10 percent dive there hopefully this helps you this is a quick video to explain the steps involved in creating or agreeing to the terms to make sure your shorts start earning money yeah thank you see you in the next one at some point yeah i'm in the wrong scene let me turn that off